you will need a copy of Biopack installed on your computer. You can do this by going to the Biopack website and finding the free student download of BSL analysis only. Now if you download version 4.00 and then either for Windows or Mac depending on which computer you're running you will need to create an account with them um, to be able to download. Once you've downloaded and installed it there is a slight change to the way that you will open up your data. When you start the software up you will straight away be asked what file you want to open. Um, you'll need to go to the drop down menu and make sure you choose the ACQ file and then navigate your way to where your ACQ files are stored. When you open the ACQ file up you will see the BSL software is very similar uh, to the normal um, Biopack software. Um, there's just not quite as many options there. Um, you may find that the iBeam that you'll need to select uh, for your data is located to the right hand side of the screen. Um, but other than that, everything else should be roughly the same and you'll be able to follow the rest of this tutorial uh, without any problems. Right, so we're going to do a short run through of how to extract data using the Biopack software. So once you've got the Biopack software installed, you'll see a number of icons either for MP36 or MP35. Now this will depend on which of the Biopacks you were using when you were recording your experiment. But if you re click on MP36, that's the one we tend to use the most. Don't worry about it saying no hardware, just click on OK and it will take you to the Biopack screen. Right, next, click on open a graph file and then make sure graph file on disk is selected and click on OK. Right, so here need to make sure that you have the ACQ file type selected from this drop down here. Once that's selected, you should be able to find your Biopack files that you recorded. So you click on one, click on open, and it will take you into the Biopack window and uh, your data will be there. First thing we're going to do, go up to SC, up in the top left and change to channel 1 EDA. Now that's going to be your GSR. Next, change the drop down to mean. That tends to be what gets used the most. If you are doing pulse rate, then again choose SC and you want pulse rate channel 42. And again, click the next drop down, click on mean. Right now that they're set, we're going to just make sure we can see all the data. So go to Display, Auto Scale Horizontal, and then go to Display again and Auto Scale Waveforms. You'll be able to see the whole of your experiment now. It's all being compressed into one screen. Now, if you were using uh, markers, then you'll be able to see these as the little uh, triangles up at the top. Now in order to actually get to the data, go and select the I-beam up in the top left and then left click and drag along to where you want to get the data from. So let's left click and drag along then release the mouse button and you'll see that it's highlighted. And then up in the top you'll be able to see these numbers have appeared. Every time you select a different bit of data these numbers will change. But they're the, they're the, that's the data that you'll be extracting and you'll be using those and putting those into SPSS. If you to file and save, it will save things exactly as they are now. So your mean, your, uh, your SC channels, they'll all be saved. It'll be uh, saved with whatever you've got selected and you'll be able to see the whole of your data as well. So that covers everything that there is for extracting uh, data from the Biopack. For each of your participants, you'll need to open up the uh, file um, and do 
this process uh, of setting the uh, SC channels and the mean and selecting the areas of data that you want to extract the numbers from.